Hey y'all, it's racing day, so loud out here I can't hear a thing. Man, the fans are going wild. And these drivers came to rock, and no place else but Fox knows how to do it in that star stock. Buggity, 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 let's go racing, boys! Yes. Hey now, here we go, race day. Don't you be going slow, keep that pedal down on the floor. Push it to the crowd, can't take no more than hair. Since the flag came down, be hair to the last lap around. We're dogging, it's time to play. What's up, race fans? Randy Orton, Fan2011, back here once again for round seven uh, in the NNSCRA Echo Unlimited Bros vs. Host Series. And we're here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. We're here, someone's going to hit the jackpot today, and we're here for the Pepsi Lift for Now 400. Well, since we're now uh, six races into the regular season here, it's time for me to add a little something, because we're late into the season, and it's time for... Uh, for a couple of drivers to possibly make a comeback because I'm going to double the points. So for the final five rounds of the regular season, I am doubling the points. So now, so now every position is very important, and that's going to put the pressure on all these drivers to really get a nice fit, a good, at least a top ten, maybe even a top five finish to uh, stay alive in this race, in the in this uh, in this race to the top ten after round eleven. So we're under the lights here in uh, in Sin City here, and by the way, guys, the uh, the series right now is four wins to two wins, bros to hoes. So the bros have four wins, the hoes have two wins at this point. Let's just take a look at some of the nobles in the starting grid. We have the top six. Look at this. The top six are all hoes: Red Bell, Amy Roma, Cassie Ronians, Maria Martinez, Bianca Roberts, and Mary Cole. All of them are hoes in the top six. And now we take a look at the rest of the starting lineup. Now control Look at your starting lineup. Uh, overall points leader James McLeod. He will be starting in the tenth position. Kaylin Skipper, the hose points leader, she is starting well in the back of the pack. She's starting all the way back in thirty third, as I can see right here. Couple of uh, couple of drivers were late to the drivers meeting. Danielle Copeland and Christopher Martin were late to the drivers meeting today. So prior to the race, so they will be starting at the back of the field. Now it's time to fire up them engines, and let's get some racing here in Sin City. So here we go, guys. 27 laps. The engines are fired up. We are ready to go racing. 27 laps, 42 drivers, and now the pressure mounts on all these drivers to really get a good finish now because, of course, with the points doubled, it's going to be even more important to get those good finishes. Pace car makes a left turn to pit road. 125,000 plus here are ready to go racing here under the lights in Sin City. Green flag is out.
So as they come into turns one and two, it is Red Bell. That inside line is starting to gain a bit of an advantage. Inside line starting to gain a bit of an advantage early on in the race, but we have 27 laps here, so who knows what could happen. Ben Paul, he's desperate for a good run, to say the least. Oh, Cassie Runyon's bounces off the wall, but she's still going. She's going to lose a lot of positions as well as Amy Roma. They've lost a lot of positions now. Oh, the, there's a wreck. The yellow flag is out. And the yellow flag is out. Oh, they already crossed the line. Oh, whoa, Tammy Burton got spun around. What the hell was going on there? Just like that, the yellow flag is out, and uh, we're trying to figure out it's Red Bell who beats the field to the line. There was an incident. Oh, Barney Ward. Oh, the overall points leader, James McCloud, got a piece of it. Well, that's going to shake up the point standings a hell of a lot now. With James McCloud in the uh, pit road in the garage area, that's going to change up the point standings a hell of a lot. We're going to take a look and put us under the yellow flag for the first time this race. Stay tuned. Here's what brings out yellow flag number one in this race. You see these cars as they come to come come to turn three. Uh, Dylan Poteet's going to make it three wide with him, Tony Blazer, and Barney Ward. And then, unfortunately, Dylan Poteet doesn't have the room here. Tony Blazer's going to get into him right here. And then that's going to that's going to get a couple of cars involved. All five of those cars are bros. Wow. That's going to change up the bro standings a hell of a lot. You saw Liam Irvig get into the heavy hit into the wall. James McLeod got a piece of that one as well. Now, there, I think, now I saw Sophie Dillon somewhere. There, there might have been a second incident. I'm not sure if there was a second incident here. Try to get a better view. Oh, right, right around here. Barney Ward just comes back down on the racetrack and just doesn't even know that Sophie Dillon's right there. I don't know what the hell that was about, but. Well, there's two, uh, two teammates right there. I don't know what the hell was going on between those two. Look at Charles Jackson. He really had to slow down. He lost a hell of a lot of positions getting back to the line. Now, as they came back to the line, they were making it. They were they were really. You saw Christopher Martin and uh, on the grass, and then uh, I think it was uh, Daniel Copeland as they start towards the back. They're on the apron at least. And I think uh, Christopher Martin's going to come back up the racetrack, and he's going to hit Sasha Johnson, and that's going to force Tammy Burton to spin out. Right there, you saw Lisa Well take a hit of the wall. Boy, a lot of cars, a lot of the hoes there were towards the back of the pack. And a lot of confusion going on here in this in this early part of the race. Let's take you back to the race to the start-finish line. Right, right over there, right as the wreck was happening, this was the race back to the start-finish line. You saw Cassie Runyon's Amy Roma bounce off the outside wall. This is this is how it looked at at the line. It will be Red Bell followed by Bianca Roberts, just barely over Ben Paul, Trent Dunham in fourth, and Dylan Young rounds up the top five. And we'll get back to Green Flag Racing right after this. We're back. Pace is giving us the one to go. Let's give ourselves a top ten rundown. Red Bell is currently the leader. Bianca Roberts in second. Ben Paul is in third. Trent Dunham in fourth, and Dylan Young rounds up the top five. Eric Burton's in sixth. Cassie Runyon's in 7th, Amy Roma in 8th, Maria Martinez 9th, and Mary Cole rounds out the top 10. Take a look at the uh, three cars at DNF, and the most notable is James McLeod, who finished who DNF's in dead last, which means he gets no points. And now with the points doubled, very likely he could, depending on uh, if either Aaron Williams or Evan Gattuso, or maybe even another driver could take over the bros points lead, but that is a huge blow to James McLeod right there. He will end up dead last, and he will get no points whatsoever. Pace car makes a left turn to pit road once again, and the green flag is out. My bad. The green flag is out again on lap six. So we'll see how these cars will uh, fare on the restart. Most of them are just about single file, but you saw Marie Martinez fall out of line there for the moment. She's going to lose a couple of spots to uh, Mary Cole and Aaron Williams. And now they're going to go side by side as they come through turns three and four. Ben Paul looking for the second position with a little help from Trent Dunham. Oh, Bianca Roberts, our previous race winner, bounces off the outside wall. She's going to lose a lot of positions. And with that, uh, I think seven cars are now ahead of Bianca Roberts. So now she's down to eighth, and now she may do go down to ninth with a help with uh, because of her. Uh, okay, now I keep failing again. Bianca Roberts is now down to ninth, as per uh, 
Demarcus Brown, her friend, and now she might go down to 10th. Oh, man, we got a lot of people bouncing off the wall. Rhett Yates bounced off the wall. Oh, I think Ben Paul might have gotten a piece of the wall, too. And now it's the boyfriend-girlfriend combo of Red Bell and Trent Dunham. Still early in this race, but I'm thinking they might work together in this. Well, maybe for Trent Dunham. Trent Dunham really needs a, a good finish here. He's toward, he's like out. He's outside the top 10 right now in the bro standings. Red Bell is actually inside the top 10, but I'm sure Red Bell could use a good finish here. Complete a couple of clean green flag laps here. Got Bell here for third for, between Amy Roma and Dylan Young, and now Aaron Williams looking to the inside, looking for the fourth position. You see this uh, the second pack here is led by Demarcus Brown, who's currently in sixth. Eric Burton is in seventh. Seth Cole in eighth. Violet Fox in ninth. Bianca Roberts has fallen back to the tenth position. Ben Paul is also losing a lot of positions here. He's fallen back to eleventh and now make that twelfth. And it may be maybe thirteenth. Yeah, ben, ben Paul's losing a lot of positions. He's stuck on the outside line. Ben Paul has got just got passed by the Aussie Callum Whale, so now he's back to thirteenth. So I, I got I'm looking at Ben Paul. Something's wrong with Ben Paul's car. I don't know what's going on with him. He, he's he's not getting the speed he wants, and uh, I'm not sure about that. Who knows what could happen? Oh, Eric Burns off the wall. He's gonna lose positions. Burns gonna fall to the twelfth position after bouncing off the outside wall. And now Dylan Young, Aaron Williams teaming up together, separating Red Bell from Trent Dunham. And now Amy Roma and Demarcus Brown are going to pass Trent Dunham for fifth, for fourth and fifth. Oh, and now Red Bell bounces off the wall. She's going to lose positions. And now it's Aaron Williams and Dylan Young side by side for the lead. Liam Irving's bouncing off the wall too. Oh man, we got a lot of cars bouncing off the wall here. And now it's Aaron Williams. Taking over the lead now, and let's hope that uh, Christopher Martin doesn't screw him out of another win this time. But this time he's going to have to earn it. It's not. It's at a. It's at an intermediate track. As Dylan Young has now bounced off the wall, and now it's Amy Roma taking over the second position. Fifteen laps to go now in this race, and now Violet Fox has moved her way into the top five, along with Demarcus Brown, and now Seth Cole looking for the fifth position at the expense of Dylan Young. Oh, Red Bell's riding around the wall. She's losing a lot of positions now. That's going to allow Trenton Dunham, Christine Wynn, and Callum Wales to pass her. Now Amy Roma, right on the back bumper of Aaron Williams. Can Amy Roma get the second get a second consecutive win for the hose here? Amy Roma is actually uh, pretty, doing pretty good in the hose standings. A win here could give her the give her the the hose points lead at this point because Kaylin Skipper, where the hell is Kaylin Skipper? Trying to find where Kaitlyn Skipper is. She's back in 26th position. So Amy Roma and now Violet Fox has passed Aaron Williams for the second position. Aaron Williams dangerously close to that wall there. And now Seth Cole looking for third. And then a CRA and the PORWC presidents. And now it will be Seth Cole taking over the third position. And now Dylan Young will take look to take over fourth. Now Violet Fox, Amy Roma side by side for the lead. Violet Fox will get the inside advantage. She will take the lead off turn three. Top five are a single file now. It'll make that the top seven, eight, nine, ten cars. Top ten are just about single file. And look at Christopher Martin. He's moved his way from all the way from the back of the pack into the twelfth or maybe eleventh position here. So what a job well done by Christopher Martin to try and stay in this. Liam Mervick, he's he's a lot of laps. He's a uh, he's he's losing a lot of speed as well as Dylan Poti. They are not going to be happy with this. They are not going to be happy with their cars at all. Tony Blazer, he's well off the pace. He's not going to be happy either. Mary Cole, who started well towards the front, she has now fallen all the way back to the 34th position. So not a good thing for Amy Roma here. And now Violet Fox is surrounded by three bros here. Violet Fox is being chased down by three bros, Seth Cole, Dylan Young, and Aaron Williams. The next hoe is Christine Wynn, who has moved her way into the fifth position. Callum Wells is now in sixth. Amy Roma's fallen back to seventh. Bianca Roberts, after that uh, after that little mishap, is now in eighth. Catherine Young, who really needs uh, something good here, she's in ninth. And Christopher Martin has finally moved his way into the top ten, as you saw his buddy Demarcus Brown giving up the tenth position at this point. 
Well, the bros are the bros really want these points. I'll tell you this: it's, there's a lot more at stake than uh, than a win here. All these points, because with the points doubled, with nine laps to go, it's now even more important to get all these points. A really a good finish as Christine Wynn passes Seth Cole for the fourth position, and now Callum Wales looking for the fifth position at the expense of Seth Cole. So they head into turn three now. Aaron Williams looking for a way past Dylan Young, or maybe will he work with him to run down Violet Fox, who's having a pretty good day so far, looking for a first win of the season. Eight laps to go now. We still have not seen a yellow flag come out, which is a good thing. But I kind of have a bad feeling that some of these lap down cars, with uh, as they're going to come around the line with seven to go, as Aaron Williams has taken over second. Now Christine Wynn looking for third over Dylan Young. And Dylan Young's going to bounce off the wall, and he's going to lose a lot of speed. With seven laps to go, and uh, Liam Burvick is just coming off turn two. Val Fox just entering... Coming off turn one, something's telling me that Liam Irvick could play a factor in the closing laps of this race. Top three have pulled away from uh, Callum Wells for the moment, but now Callum Wells has taken over fourth. Dylan Young has fallen back to fifth. Seth Cole and Amy Roman now battling for sixth. They're perilously getting closer and closer to uh, Liam Irvick here. And something telling me that that could be a huge that could be something huge when it comes to the outcome of this race. Again, a lap down. Well, I wouldn't say a lap down car. Well, actually, let me check the leaderboard here. No, Liam Burvick, he's not a lap down. He's on the lead lap, but he is well off the pace. And now Christine Wynn looking for the second position over Aaron Williams, looking to uh, defend the hose here and make them pull within one in the series. Again, awfully close to Liam Irvick. We come around with five laps to go now. Aaron Williams looking for some help from his bros to try and get the bros their fifth win of the season. We'll come around with four to go. Now, remember, it's not over till it's over, but something tells me something's going to be happening. And Tony Blazer just hit pit road. He might be looking for some repairs in that. Take a little, we'll just cycle through the field one more time. We have all these drivers. Daniel Copeland's well off the pace. Evan Gattuso's back in 27th. Trent Dunham's fallen all the way back to 22nd. Tough break for Trent Dunham there. Caitlin Skipper's moved her way into the top 20. Uh, Red Bell, the pole sitter, is back in the 13th position. Three to go now, and uh, they're just getting closer and closer to Liam Irvig now. So, something t so uh, they better be careful here. Liam probably has to get out of the way before... Because they are going to get to Liam Irvig. Look at them. They're going, like, so much faster. Oh, now Tony Blazer could play a factor in this. Well, here we go. Here we go. They just met Liam Irvig right off turn four. Holding up Violet Fox for the moment. Two to go now this time by. Didn't quite hold them up that much, I would say the least. But that, is, uh, that has now... um. Got them bunched up a bit together, and now it's a three-car battle here for the lead. Callum Wells is now fourth, Seth Cole in fifth. Tony Blazer is a lap down. Amy Roma looking to uh, pass Tony Blazer, trying to run down Seth Cole for the fifth position as they come to the white flag, this time by one lap to go. It's Violet Fox in the driver's seat. Well, we've gone full green flag lap since the uh, since the call, since the yellow flag, and they're pretty much single file here. It doesn't look like uh, Christine Wynn will she have a run off the uh, off turn three or turn four? Qu the answer is no, and it's Violet Fox coming off a of turn four, getting to the stripe first, and she will take home the checkered flag. So the hoes get another win. And now that makes the series four to three. Boy, this is getting more interesting, and this is getting more interesting by by each race. And how about Violet Fox? She really, she desperately needed those points, two hundred points for Violet Fox. And I'll tell you, that's a that's a huge turnaround for Violet Fox after what happened to James McLeod. As he James McLeod ended up dead last. That's a huge turnaround. So Violet Fox salvages a victory for her brother James McLeod. Christine won a good run for her. She'll finish second. Aaron Williams 
and uh, Callum Wells third, fourth, and Seth Cole will round out the top five. And now we take you to your official race results. Here's a look at your official race results. Congratulations to Violet Fox. She comes away with the victory. 200 big points. That is huge for Violet Fox right there. And well as well as Christine Wynn, who's actually inside the top 10 in the host standings. That's going to help her out a lot in the standings. Aaron Williams is the first bro who, who makes up the podium. He will finish third. A great follow-up for Aaron Williams after after the uh, after the mishap over at, at uh, Myrtle Beach. But... For Aaron Williams, he'll get 180 points. That's a lot of points, and I'm pretty sure Aaron Williams will pre very likely will take over the overall points lead with that finish. Callum Wells, a great great run for Callum Wells and Seth Cole. They will finish in fourth and fifth. Amy Roma will finish sixth. Catherine Young, seventh. Jacob Lawler, eighth. Dylan Young in ninth, and Bianca Roberts can't, will uh, finish off the top ten. And I'm surprised at Jacob Lawler. He came out of nowhere, and he ended up in the eighth position. How about a good? How about a job well done for Jacob Lawler? Christopher Martin came out, uh, came from dead last and moved his way all the way into the 11th position. A good well, job well done for Christopher Martin. Aaron Bauman also came from the back of the pack. She finished. She will finish 12th. Charles Jackson also came from the back of the pack and finished 13th. How about a good? How about a good run by Martin Bauman and Charles Jackson? Good run for them as they started towards the back of the pack and they will end up right, right just outside the top 10. Red Bell the pole sitter will end up 14th and Demarcus Brown will finish 15th. Wendy Gattuso will end up 16th, Eric Burton 17th, Sasha Johnson 18th, Caitlin Skipper 19th, and Tammy Burton rounds out the top 20. Go through the rest of the finishing order here. Ben Paul, Richard Johnson, Lisa Well, Rhett Yates, Trent Dunham, Sue McKenzie, Evan Gattuso, Sophie Dillon, Danielle Copeland, and Cassie Runyons. And then we go through the bottom 10. Haley Hamilton, Mary Cole, Maria Martinez, Jake Rogers, Dylan Poteet, Liam Mervig, who finishes a lap down. Tony Blazer finishes two laps down. And the three cars at DNF, Courtney Jackson, Barney Ward, and James McLeod. And before I forget, just to make it official, it's official. So we're now down. So we're four races away from... The cutoff in the uh, in both the bros and the hoes. Remember the top ten in the bros and hoes standings. We'll move on to the final race to determine the gender championship. So now with uh, a huge but a huge win for Violet Fox. That's with the points doubled, and that's gonna and with James McLeod finishing dead last. Whoa! I'll tell you that that's gonna change the points landscape now. That really changes the points landscape, and really to tell you the truth, it pretty much gets everyone else back in it. Now that James McLeod has, D has basically DNF'd in dead last, but I'm thinking Aaron Williams might have something up his sleeve, and maybe uh, we'll try and take home, we'll, we'll salvage the uh, overall points lead for this race, but we'll see what happens over at the next race. All right, guys, that's it. That's it from me. For, that's it from Sin City. Someone has hit the, Violet Fox has hit the jackpot, and that's all from Las Vegas. This is Aaron Williams, Randy Orton Fan 2011, signing off. I'm out.